Welcome, everybody. As expected, I, I think light crowd today. We we're, were going to, uh, or we we talked about canceling this all together, but kind of forgot about it until the end. So I want to make sure that I showed up for anybody that has kind of uh, pressing questions. So so my plan is to uh, just take the time that we need today, I guess. And I I've got my calendar blocked, so if we need the hour uh, for questions, I will be here for all the questions, but I don't have um, any specific subject matter prepared or anything like that. So uh, if we don't need the time, we won't we won't take it and I will let myself and you all off the hook uh, and, dis and dismiss class early. Um, but I guess the biggest <clears throat> kind of announcement in our world in the last two weeks that's relevant to at least talk about is the release date of the FAFSA. And there's not... <laughs> too much more that came with that, right? There's still not a release date. I think there was some confusion on, you know, is it going, is it coming out December 31st? The language is it will be available by December 31st. So I think what they're getting ahead of was there started to be, I think, some meaningful rumors. We talked to some of our little birdies that were thinking it was going to be January. Uh, so they said, well, uh, they're saying it's not going to be January. It is going to come out uh, this calendar year. Um, but again, obviously, they still don't know exactly when it will be ready. So the language they used is it will be ready by December 31st. So that's the hope, right? I think in the expectation, um, you know, I think it will very likely be the um, pretty close, right to that. I think it'll be after Christmas. Um, who knows, we could we could be surprised. But again, our, our understanding as of today is they don't know. Right. They don't know. And they're but and they're just kind of going on record to say, but we will make it happen somehow, some way. This calendar year doesn't change a whole lot in terms of what we were expecting already. I mean, some of the colleges are just uh, annoyed because they're like, hey, we're not going to be able to get the results of these FAFSA FAFSAs till later. So it's going to take us longer and, and have a more condensed turnaround time where we can get estimates in front of people. So I think that's probably the biggest practical downside here is just um, not having a ton of time before May 1st, right? Um, so I'd... yeah, and and no, no negative impact in terms of completing the CSS profile for, um, uh, for, for foreign students or, or international students. That's just a uh, question I got here. And, and as a matter of fact, some colleges, if you're an international student and you're not a citizen, will require that CSS profile, um, even if they don't for, for uh, U.S. students here. So if you want to throw your hat in the ring and even be considered for some of the institutional funds, it may not be uh, federal funds, but if you want to be considered for institutional funds, you have to. Um, complete that CSS profile. So yeah, certainly not a downside um, fr from what I can tell there. Yeah. And, and you know, we're ex fully expecting, we've already seen some awards for ED student athletes who've got their pre-reads, right? Um, and we're a few weeks away, call it middle of December, before we start to get some kind of uh, th this this rush of awards that they're all going to be estimated because they're all going to require the FAFSA uh, eventually, but starting in the middle of December-ish, right, we're going to find out these kids that have been accepted ED and uh, for the schools that have used the CSS profile, we're going to get estimated awards based on that CSS profile, which the CSS profile for those schools that require it, that's the source of truth anyways. The FAFSA is just a formality. So unless they've made a big mistake on there and the FAFSA is completely different <clears throat> than the CSS profile, we can take those early awards as, as a source of truth. What we're interested to see is in terms of appealing, right, going back to these colleges and negotiating, we can't use that word, but that's what we're doing, appealing for more financial aid and scholarships. Are they going to uh, takes or start listening to appeals at that point, or are they going to say you got to do the FAFSA first because this none of this is official until that FAFSA is complete and you've done the IRS data retrieval tool, blah, blah, blah. Early feedback seems to be that we're still going to be able to appeal even before the FAFSA uh, is done. So we expect it to be the same type of timetable. We've it, it has been historically and not a huge disruption there. Again, the FAFSA will just be a formality that we'll have to complete at some point to make any appeal result, you know, official, official. Everything's going to be um, 
an estimate until that FAFSA becomes, you know, finalized for, for all <laughs> need-based aid. Um, yeah, and we've seen, it's been kind of interesting, and this is a school by school thing, but I'm, I'm picking on you, Chicago, specifically here where they won't even allow us to appeal our, our pre-reads because they're saying you got to go through, um, you know, you at least got to do the CSS profile, get your formal acceptance, um, you know, outside of just the athletic, um, you know, likely acceptances before, before we can even appeal. So that's been annoying when schools choose to do that because it's great when we can get ahead of these appeals, even before we've, we've got our official award, it just kind of allows us to, again, be ahead of the game here. So that's it, right? That the, the FAFSA is the and the timing of it again by December 31st. That's the latest and greatest. Uh, we get a pulse on this every single day. So as if you're curious, just keep paying attention. We are very much <clears throat> we are very much all over it, and you'll be hearing from us once it becomes uh, any more official than by December 31st. Um, and we still have some folks that are somewhat in the know that that are bearish that that's that's going to be a real thing so to be determined obviously a very exciting year this year with uh the FAFSA release date the FAFSA changes and all this class 2024 god love these guys they are the guinea pigs for uh a heck of a lot it was already a confusing complicated overwhelming system these guys are going through the ringer so but I guess maybe there's some benefit to it's all they know right uh, unless they have they've had an older student go through this before this is all they know um, but please let me know if there's any other questions from you guys. Otherwise, like I said, I'll, I'll um, we'll dismiss class uh, early today and and cut out relatively early from the holiday. I'm not working a full day here, but I do have some more obligations left today. Hopefully, hopefully you all are out of here uh, ASAP. But let me stick around for another couple minutes. And again, any questions uh, for you for you diehards, even up against the um, Thanksgiving holiday, just uh, still tuning in, which I very much appreciate. But again, I'll I'll stick around from for two more minutes, and otherwise we'll uh, we'll say goodbye, happy Thanksgiving, and see each other in uh, um, December. Right? Yeah, appreciate that. Thank you, thank you as well. Appreciate you guys being so dialed in and caring. Caring enough to see what's going on, trying to be better at uh, at your jobs, and glad we can um, glad we can help <laughs> empower you all, and hopefully, in a perfect world, if we do our our job right, take a little bit off your plate, give you one last thing to worry about, and hopefully, be again an extension of your team and and all that. So, um, all right, guys. Well, listen, have a have an amazing Thanksgiving. Um, Enjoy it, right? Uh, rest up. You guys have more more than earned it. I don't need to tell you that, but enjoy it. Lean into the lean into the downtime um, before we're back at it. You know, uh, less than a week from now. But have an awesome Thanksgiving. Enjoy yourselves. Enjoy your families, uh, friends, and all that. Thanks, guys. Mm -hmm.